Hey, since we're on a tear about welding machines, if the millers we did before this video didn't suit you, let's talk about what you might need to look at on an engine drive. It's not much different than buying a car. Make sure it has oil in it. Make sure it has coolant. If it's an older Lincoln, make sure it's leaking a little bit. That way you know it has oil in it. If it's an older Miller, I think they're pretty solid. They don't leak much at all. Depends on what you want. Ford, Chevy, Miller, Lincoln, Dodge, Yes Welder. Let's check it out. What are some of the things you need to look for when you're buying an engine drive machine? Uh, first thing I look at, what size do you need? Do you think you really need a 600 amp Miller air pack for, I don't know, running around in refineries? Probably not. Common sizes, Lincoln SA200, your Miller 350 pipe pros, uh, you know, 200 amp, 300 amp, maybe a 400 amp. Most people putting together a welding truck or, or needing an engine drive, they're not gonna need anything bigger than 300 amp, 350 amp machine. Start out with your size. What processes are you gonna need? Uh, if you're gonna be doing a, a lot of high-tech wire feed, I know you're gonna look at an inverter, an engine drive with an inverter setup, kind of like a, it'd be a Lincoln Cross Country or a, the Miller 350 Pipe Pros. They're gonna have a lot of specialty settings on there for high-tech wire feed or lift arc, start on your TIG torch. If you're just gonna be running some stick welding, some regular old TIG welding, you can go out and get a SA200 or a 300 Classic Lincoln. Just run of the mill, pretty bare bones. Some of them come with 240 outlets on them. Some of them come with some arc control features on them. It also depends on what engine you're looking for. I'm a big diesel fan. I believe that for every one diesel, you're gonna go through three gas motors. So I tend to gravitate towards diesel engines. Now them older Lincolns, they got the F-162 Continental gas engine in it. It's as reliable as any diesel engine. They just do not fail. When you get into the smaller machines with a gas engine, they tend to have some issues. So if you like diesel, go with diesel. If you like gas, go with gas. What I used to do is whatever welding truck I had, I would match the machine fuel with what my truck was running. So if I had a gas engine truck, I would try to run a gas engine machine. That way I'm not jumping between a bunch of different fuel pumps. When I went to diesel, then I, I got a diesel machine. So fill up your truck, fill up your machine. You don't move, you just go. They're again, like a vehicle, they range from you can get an, S, an old SA200, like a 1965 red face SA200. It's gonna be reliable, 1,500 bucks. Or you can go spend a 25,000 on a Miller 400. So is the, is the average person going to need new or used? Kind of depends on, on what you're looking for. New, you're probably gonna get a, a warranty with it like you would a new vehicle. So if something goes wrong, you take it in and deal with it. Less headache, potentially, if you're kind of mechanically inclined. Get a used one, Lincoln 200s, SA 200s, for example. They'll work solid for you all day long. And then at the end of the day, you're gonna go home and probably work on it for a little bit before you get it going the next day. That's just the nature of the beast. That's my experience with them. I've also had Lincoln Classic 300s. Never had a problem, never even had to work on it. So it depends on the machine, depends on what you need it. Depends on what you wanna do after work. If you're trying to buy a used one, where do you look? Marketplace, like everywhere else. If you want a used weld machine, Craigslist, wherever you find any other used stuff, that's where you find a used weld machine. When you pick a machine out and you're going to look at it, just like you'd look at a vehicle, what are the things we're gonna look for? First, I'm gonna show up, make sure it starts, check the fluids, make sure there's no absurd leaks. Then we're gonna start it up, make sure it runs, make sure it runs smooth. Try to get knowledgeable about how it's supposed to run and RPMs and whatever. Have a set of leads, either have them set up a set of leads, bring you some plate, bring you some whatever welding rod you're gonna be using. Make sure it welds. Some of those older copper wound generators, they've got a lot of moving parts that could fail and you won't know it until you get it to the house unless you try it right there. I always check the paint job. A lot of times, somebody trying to sell one of them old, old machines that look a little beat up, rather than fix it, they'll put a really nice paint job on the engine and the generator and the outside so it's real shiny, but it's gonna be hiding a lot of stuff. I just assume they not paint it so I can see what's going on. Make sure the outlet, power outlets work. There's some stuff there that, that could be going wrong on an outlet that could affect other things. Does it idle up and down smooth? When you're welding, does it change temperature smooth? You know, run the rheostat, make sure there's no hang up in there, make sure it runs from zero to maximum heat. You know, feel for vibrations, listen for weird noises, knocks in the engine. Same as buying a car, except for it doesn't have tires on it. Let them know what you're looking for. Don't bash it if it's not what you thought it was gonna be when you show up. If you thought it was gonna be really nice and you show up, it's not so nice, just tell them no thanks, this is not what I'm interested in and go on to the next one. There's no reason to, to bash somebody when they have a different idea about it. The will it make you money checklist. If you can find one less expensive, that's less capital you have to put in right off the get go. If it'll weld a piece of pipe, it'll make you money. If you can put it in the back of your truck and haul it around, it'll make you money.
Hopefully this content helped you. Uh, next time you go buy a, a welding machine, an engine drive, a portable welding machine, you got some pointers on what to look at. You know the drill. We just did it five minutes ago. Like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, wherever that thing ends up. Yeah.